Florence here is going to uh, <laughs> help us. She's going to uh, have a look at my new trick, which is called Loxley. And um, before we get started, I need to mention that um, we're going to use my phone. Um, and there's a picture on here now. Ordinarily, we would use your phone, but... I'm only seven, so I don't have a mobile phone. She's only seven, so she doesn't have a mobile phone, which is... Uh, which is right, I think. But um, if you were older and you had a phone, then I would have sent you this message and it would be on your phone. Mm -hmm. But for now, we'll just have to pretend. Fair enough? Yeah. Good stuff. Okay, so we'll leave that there for now. Uh, and what's on the phone is a picture, and it's a, predi uh, a picture, a prediction, you might say, of the future and of what I think might mm -hmm. happen in the future. All right? Uh, and we're going to use these cards. So I'm going to show you what the cards are now. I'll take them out of the box. Uh, there's a joker there, we'll definitely need that uh, a bit later on. Now here are the cards. Now Florence, um, do you know the order of these cards right now? Do you know? I do not know anything about them. She doesn't know anything about them, about the order. But here's the, here's the important point. It wouldn't matter even if you did know the order because the way we're going to select this card is completely random. And, uh, and, and it wouldn't help you to know the order. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to have you take that joker in just one second and uh, push it face up into the pack. Now, okay. I'll tell you, whichever card ends up above the joker will be the chosen card. So there's no words play. I'm not going to interpret one card next to it or anything like that. Whichever card ends up above the joker will be your card. And then after that, we're going to have you cut the cards, mix up the deck, so we change the position of the joker as well. Is that fair? Very good, so take the joker and put your face up somewhere inside the pack. Very well done. So in it goes, and we'll push it right in. Now, do you know uh, which card lies above your joker right now? No. Nope. You couldn't know, you couldn't know because you didn't know the order. And you see that even if you did know the order, it would still be pretty hard to tell which card it went in directly underneath. Fair? Mm -hmm. But here's the thing, perhaps at this point I might think, well... I sort of know where the joker went because we sort of saw roughly where it went in the pack. So what we're going to do is have you cut the cards like this. That changes the order of every single card each time you cut and then there would be no way to know the joker's position. So you can do that now. Just give it a number of cuts. Very good. Excellent stuff. Oh, that's superb. A number of cuts. Very well done. Okay, so uh, that was excellent. I love that uh, card handling action. I think for such small hands, the future looks bright. So, um, <laughs> so here we go. You don't know which card is above your joker, fair? Yes, I think that is fair. That, that is fair. And also, uh, you don't know where the joker is now, right? Because you've moved it all around inside the pack. Is that fair? Yes, I think that is absolutely fair. Very good. Okay, uh, let's find out where your joker ended up, shall we? But remember, I don't have a phone. This is Dave's phone. Yeah. So let's see uh, where that joker ended up. It's got to be in here somewhere. There it is, right there. Now, you can see that that is the joker, and that's exactly where it ended up. Fair? Okay. Um, now, shall we take a look at the text okay. message? Let's see what it says. Other way. Alright. Okay. And yeah, unlock it now. And it's this one here. So, can you uh, can you tell us all, first of all, uh, what the card is? It's the Jack of Clubs and it's a 16th card. That's exactly right. It is the Jack of Clubs. And uh, my prediction is that the Joker would have went below the Jack of Clubs, 16 cards down. Let's find out. Here we go, look. Count one, one two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Sixteenth card down. Now, is it the Jack of Clubs? Let's find out. Bang. <laughs> Jack of Clubs 16 cards down. <laughs> Incredible, I think you would agree. But here's the thing, Flo. Hilda, thank you. Here's the thing. If you think about it, you know, you'll have a think about it later and think, wait a minute, he never ever showed me the face of any of the cards. So perhaps, you know, they're all the Jack of Clubs. But they're not. They can't be. 
Now, I'll show you uh, what makes it even more impressive. Look, there's actually no cards at all. See? They're all blank. They're all blank. All the cards are blank. Every single one, except for the Jack of Clubs, which you somehow managed to find with that joker, exactly 16 cards down. A miracle. Am I right? Bye.